this is the video lecture series of Emirates systems. So if you are seeing the channel for the first time, uh, this is a channel mainly focusing on electronic subjects and job updates. Okay, so if you want uh, job updates on a daily basis and if you are interested in watching electronics uh, videos, that is for EC, Triple E and EI, please do subscribe to the channel and also follow us on our Instagram page. Okay, all the links are given in the description. And also if you want the notes, please do subscribe to the Telegram channel also. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about SPI and SCI protocols. Okay, SPI is Serial Peripheral Interface, then SCI is Serial Connect Interface. Let us see one by one. Serial Peripheral Interface, actually these two uh, interfaces or these two uh, protocols or ports are very simple to study. Okay, so this video is actually a very simple explanation of SPI and SCI. So SPI is Serial Peripheral Interface. It is a serial uh, synchronous communication interface it is used for short distance communication okay primarily we are using this in embedded systems only and it is uh, for full duplex this spi devices can communicate in full duplex mode with one master and multiple slave architecture so there is a master slave architecture followed in spi there will be only one master and multiple slaves will be there master will be originating the a frame for reading and writing and this is synchronous means there is a clock signal okay so this clock signal is given by the master various signals that we use in uh, SPI are slave select then MOSI and we will see that okay so various signals that we use here you can see that this is SS slash that is slave select in order to select a particular slave we set this field as zero then there is MOSI that means master out slave in then miso is master in slave out so through this pin the master will be sending the data master out master in means here the master will be receiving the data now this is s clock so th this this is a synchronous communication uh, standard so there is a clock and the clock is given by the master so this is how the signals are getting connected see here master means this field will be one Slave means this slave. Uh, this field is 0. This is slave select. In order to select a particular slave or in order to set a device as slave or a peripheral in order to set it as slave, we give 0 here. This is active low, active, uh, low signal or active low uh, pin is this. So it has to be set 0 to set it as slave. Now master out means master is sending that to slave. Master in slave out means the master is receiving the data. S clock is given by the master. Next, the best signals, we have already seen that. S clock is serial clock. Okay. Then MOSI is master out slave in. So the data out from the master is given through this signal line or this pin. MISO is master in slave out. So the data from the slave is taken through this pin. SS is slave select. So it is often active low. And it is output from the master. Next, let us see how the communication is happening. See here, there is two memories or two master and uh, there is master and slave. So there is, as I've said, there will be one master, only single master will be there, and there will be more than one slave. Multiple slaves can be there. So what is happening here? The clock is given by the master. Then through the MOSI pin, the data is being sent to the slave. This is master out slave in. So through this pin, the data is sent to the slave and the master is receiving the data through master in slave out. So this is how the communication or the operation of SPI is taking place. Okay. So that's all about the SPI protocol. Very simple. You just have to study the signals, the, the meaning of the signals and the abbreviation of the signals you have to study and you should draw a simple diagram. That is how you have to explain this uh, protocol or this uh, standard this is not a protocol this is a, a standard standard in your exam paper okay next one is uh, even simpler that is serial connect interface port okay so this is actually a uart asynchronous mode port so this is opening in operating in asynchronous mode and this is again a full duplex mode of communication okay and another important thing is that sci is programmable for transmission and for reception in order to have reception and transmission we can program it okay Next one, we are going to see the signals of. We are going to see the signals of SCI, that is Serial Connect Interface 
port. Okay, so here there are two lines, receive line and transmit line is there. So uh, this receive line at the receiver, at receiver input from the transmitter output. So whatever the transmitter is uh, sending, it will it is received through this receive pin. Then there is a transmit pin for sending the data. Very simple connection. See here there is a connection like this. Receive and transmit is connected like this. Okay. So this is how the uh, signals are present and this is how the connection is established. Very simple connection it is. Only two lines is there. Both the ends will be having these two lines and they will be connected. Okay. Now talking about the baud rate, the baud rate is selective, selectable among 32 possible ones. That is 32 possible baud rates are there by 3 uh, bit, 3 rate bits and 2 prescaling bits. With the help of these two, these type of bits, we can select the baud rates. How can we select? By the use of 3 rate bits, that is baud rate bits and 2 prescaling bits. Now there is serial in and out uh, lines baud rate are not separately programmable okay serial in and out lines are programmable uh, that is they are uh, programmed together for the baud rate sa has two control register register bits t8 and r8 for interprocessor communication these are some additional information okay so another thing sci receive receiver wake up feature is programmable by rw that is the receiver wake up unavailable bit okay so that bit is used for uh, waking up the sci next wake up feature is enabled if rwu rwu means here it is given receiver wake up unavailable if it is set means wake up feature is enabled if it is disabled uh, and it is disabled if rwu is reset so this is how you uh, wake up the SCI. In order to wake up the receiver, that is SCI receiver wake up is uh, possible with the help of a with the help of a special pin called RWU. Okay. So this, uh, if it is set, wake up feature is enabled. If it is this, if it is reset, means if it is zero, means it is disabled. That is wake up feature is disabled. Okay. So that is how the uh, the SCI connection is present. So number of processors can communicate on the SCI by using control bits. These are the control bits R8, T8 and RWU. Now this RWU is actually used for waking up the uh, SCI. R8 and T8 is used for uh, actually the interprocessor uh, interprocessor communication. Okay. So we all know that SCI is used for communication purpose. It will be actually associated with some processors. So in that case, these two registers, these are the control registers R8 and T8. It is used for controlling the uh, interprocessor, interprocessor communication. And in order to wake up, uh, we have a special, uh, special uh, bit or a special control bit called RWU. Okay. So, that is all about SCI. Uh, Protocol. So these are actually two protocols or two ports, SCI port and SPI, serial peripheral interface and serial connect interface. Okay. So these are again two serial communication protocols or ports. Okay. So in this video, we have discussed about SPI and SCI. These are actually very uh, simple topics. Uh, you just have to draw the diagrams and you have to brief the explanation. But all things are there, you just have to explain. That is all about this SPI and SCI. Okay. So we are actually doing a video lecture series of embedded systems. If you are interested in uh, continue watching this series, please do subscribe to our channel and also please do follow us on our Instagram page uh, of EC Electronics. Okay, so that's that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and keep on watching.